What's up you guys? Hey, it's John with Vision 360 Financials. Hey, today we're going to be going over our goals and goal settings and also how to set them, how to make them, why you should make them, and the list goes on and on and on. All right, let's begin. So if you don't already know, a goal or a hard tangible goal is really a three-part thing. So you have your long-term, your mid-term, and your short-term. So your long-term is typically over three years uh, or further out. And so that could be by age 30, I want to do this or whatever the case is. And two midterm goals is typically six months to three years in time frame. And then typically your short term goal is going to be less than six months away. And so maybe I want to go to the gym four times a week. You know, maybe I'll start with two times a week and by month six, I'm going four times a week. That could be a short term goal leading into a mid and long term goal. So your short term and your midterm can always lead into a long term goal. Uh, don't ever overdo it at once because you can overwhelm yourself. And then another thing to realize about your goals is think of it as a place where you see yourself in the future at some point. Maybe it's perhaps where you want to go, you know, who you want to be with, who you want to see, maybe how you want to see yourself. You know, that could be in your financial or your spiritual or even your physical goals. And it could even include social goals. So there's a lot of different things. Basically it's where you want to go and how far you want to take whatever you're doing. And so that's really the big question that you got to ask yourself. And so maybe it's, you want to improve your financial decision. So, you know, maybe you subscribe to the channel. No, I'm just joking there, but also go ahead and subscribe if you want. Um, but also, you know, maybe it's your spiritual, maybe, maybe you want to go to church. Maybe you want to practice something, right? There's a lot of different things you can do. And then perhaps also, you know, maybe it's a physical goal. And so maybe perhaps that physical goal could be, you know, going to the gym, you know, four times a week. Maybe it could just be going on walks, going on runs. You also have that social goal. Maybe you want to call a friend or a family member every week and just call a different one every week and kind of rotate. So that way you can, you know, kind of stay in touch with everybody, especially through these you know, coronavirus times where a lot of people are just isolated. It's not really healthy long term. So maybe, uh, you know, reach out to some of those folks. And then another thing that you could really do is, you know, you can have a hard end date on some of your goals. So maybe, you know, by a certain age or a certain date, you want to have this accomplished X, Y, Z. So what you need to do is take that goal and write it down and post it, post it in multiple spots to where you see it every day and you look at it. And that's how you will achieve it. You've got to have the follow through and that is key. And then maybe you're going to have something that's not a hard tangible uh, date, you know, end date. And those could be, maybe you want to be a better person daily, you know, and maybe you want to compliment somebody daily, you know, and that could be a never ending thing. That could be until the day that, you're pushing up daisies. So, you know, you, you just got to ask yourself, is, is this a hard end date? Does it actually have a date? Or is it something that I'm going to continually do and improve in my life? And then honestly, the biggest thing to remember is that, you know, if you're going to set it, you better do it and you better follow through because you owe it to yourself to follow through. Remember that. Whenever you want to improve in life and you want improvement, just look in the mirror and always have that follow through. And that is key. And so overall, goals are one of the best things that you can do in your life and make to be able to really progress forward. And it helps to drive you and gives you the momentum to really keep moving. And it gives you something to actually reach for. So, and you can set really high goals up to the sky or you can set goals that are not far away they're pretty foreseeable so i highly encourage you guys to always set goals and that's really the entrepreneurial you know spirit and also it's just the mindset of being able to be a very successful uh person whether it be financially spiritually emotionally physically or socially so i hope you guys enjoyed that if you guys did if you would please click that like button also consider subscribing and you guys all have a great day all right bye